Hey Pisces, welcome to your reading for the first half of April, 1st to the 15th. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, this is a general reading, so please take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. Yeah, let's get into it. Spirit, please make me a clear channel for all Pisces, sun, moon, and rising signs. Uh, please uh, bring forward the best messages for Pisces within this time period of April 1st to the 15th. Thank you so much, Spirit. Pisces. 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 Okay, one more shuffle for you, Pisces. And then we will cut the deck. Let's get into this. Yeah. All right, Pisces. Overall energy for you, we have the Hermit. So some of you are, um, um, are, uh, I heard retreating, kind of, but it doesn't really feel like you're retreating. You're drawing, you're, you're going inward. Um, you're trying to find some answers to something. Um, you're looking for guidance. Um, moving on. Yeah, with the Nine of Cups, oh, oh and the Lovers, and Death. But death is a good thing because death is a transformation. And this is why you're going with it. This is why you are, um, why you're kind of in hermit mode. Uh, because you want, you're trying to manifest love. Your wish is for love. Um, and not just any love, divine love. So, you're going within to try and find it and you're setting yourself up to do the things you need to do to, um, to bring forward the transformation that you need, to, that you need in order to manifest this love. Okay. So let's get into your storyline. We're starting with judgment, a higher calling with the six of cups. All right, so there's soulmate energy around. Um, this very much could be a twin flame relationship. Um, and you're, you're hearing the call of judgment, okay? You're ascending. Um, I'm picking up that some of you are even really getting more in tune with spirituality. Um, and because of that, you're hearing this calling from judgment, and so you're following it by taking some time to go within to clear up any blockages that are get, keeping you from achieving this wish in love. Yeah. Next we have the Prince of Swords. Someone got into a fight with the world. Um, yeah, there was a fight and it brought an ending to some cycle. And I'm not so sure that's a bad thing. To be quite honest, um, I feel like you were the aggressor here, Pisces. You like bit somebody's head off. And I'm not going to say you weren't all that in the right. Um, there may have been a little more of a tactful way to do it. But in, the, in any event, you know, it happened. Can't take it back. Neither can this other person, by the way. Th this other person can't really take back what they did to, to put you in this Knight of Swords energy. But it did, in fact, bring an ending to a cycle. And I feel like it illuminated things for you, Pisces. And that is what's helping you dive deeper into the hermit energy of trying to figure something out, trying to get answers. Um, ultimately, though, whatever this with the prince or in this deck, but also it's also known as the knight of swords, whatever happened here um, is much better than it seems. Because it did, in fact, bring and, and is, is facilitating some sort of ending to some sort of destructive cycle is what I'm picking up on here. Next, we have the Hierophant. Wow, there is a lot, a lot of spiritual energy right now here with justice. Damn! <laughs> Yo, justice is being served. Why? Because you're going within with the Hermit and you're listening to the guidance from your higher self. The Hierophant, okay? Um, and justice is being served because of it. Greater balance is being brought into the situation because of this. 
That feels very, very good for you, Pisces. It I'm going to tell you that right now. That feels great. Moving forward, we have the Queen of Pentacles with the Ace of Pentacles. So there is someone in your life that um, embodies the Queen of Pentacles energy. So she's very much, he or she could be a man. This is um, this is just mostly energy. This really, it doesn't necessarily have to speak to gender. Um, so there could be an actual woman. It could be an actual, it could be an earth sign, uh, Taurus, Leo, I'm sorry, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, it could be a man who is like a, like in the case of a twin flame situation, it, this could be your divine feminine. Um, but in any event, this person, you see this person as very stable, very loving, very compassionate, very logical, very wise, um, and very much wifey material. Okay. Like, will you know, this person will hold you down no matter what. And whatever is happening here, whatever cycle has ended is now bringing you a new, um, a brand new start with whoever this queen of pentacles is. I t I'm telling you guys, this feels really, really good. <laughs> Next, we have the King of Wands Ooh, with the Four of Pentacles. So um, I'm definitely, I'm just going to go out and say this. I'm definitely picking up Twin Flame energy here. Um, Pisces, you are most likely the person that is embodying this King of Wands energy. In this situation that I'm connecting with at this current moment, um, you are the Divine Masculine. Um for some of you, this is not for all of you. For some, that's what I'm picking up. Um, for others of you, Pisces, if you are the divine feminine in this situation, this is your divine masculine, the king of wands. Um, and he's he's still holding on to something. He's struggling to let go of something. Um, and that has a lot to do with him going within. Again, this is just energy. So him, her, it's not gender. When I'm saying him, I'm speaking to the divine masculine. When I'm saying her, I'm speaking to the divine feminine. Masculine energies, feminine energies, whatever. Um, but something, but but yeah, there's something that whoever is represented by the King of Wands here. Now, understand that this does not have to be a twin flame relationship, okay? But there is some of that that I'm picking up on. But this person that's represented by the King of Wands is still having trouble disconnecting from something, letting something go. Um, it could be ego-based. That, that, that was something that just popped into my head, which makes perfect sense because... The King of Wands can be pretty egoic, prideful, can be kind of narcissistic sometimes um, if the energies are right. Uh, oh, it can be a player too. And when I heard that, then I was like, yeah, that's what someone is having trouble letting go of, the player lifestyle. Um, but they're working on it. They're definitely working on it. They're definitely really going in going within. I mean, there is all kinds of major arcana up in here already. I mean, we have one, two, three, four, five, six major arcana right now. So there, there is a lot happening on a spiritual level. Um, and there are cycles that are ending. Okay. So just be patient. Don't worry. Um, this person represented by the King of Wands is struggling a little bit, you know, have compassion, have, be patient with them, but ultimately understand that, that, that cycles are ending. And it's a very good thing. Next, we have the Two of Pentacles with the Ace of Wands. So, um, right, okay, so there was a moment of inspiration. There was a spark of creation <laughs> um, that came through for this person with the King of Wands. And now they're working on bringing balance into the situation. Yep. They are balancing out, guys. Next, the star. Oh, more, more major arcana. Well, just come on in, guys, <laughs> with the four of cups. So Pisces uh, focuses back to you now. You are being asked to um, take some time to meditate and really focus back on that star, um, that wish that you have. You have the nine of cups here, too, and you have the stars. So you've got both wish fulfillment cards here. So spirit is guiding you to really take some time to rest, divine feminine, you need to rest, meditate, and focus on that inner light within yourself that is leading you to the wishes that you desire to manifest in your life. Um, I did pick up pretty specifically for any divine feminines out there, 
um, that you're really struggling with your divine masculines. <laughs> I know I am. Um, but it's a good thing. Ultimately, it's still a good thing. You're being asked to um, visualize your life with your divine masculine. And actually, this is guidance that came through for me from a reading that I got recently. So I really want to share this with you because it's kind of imperative right now, especially for those of us who are reaching union, but still find us um, and have and find ourselves having these thoughts of positive thoughts of our lives with our divine masculine and all that um, in order to like in order to manifest it by using the law of attraction um, through visualization. You're being asked to, when you find yourself in moments of slipping back into the old paradigm of um, um, thinking about old memories and things that the way things used to be before these cycles ended, um, instead of focusing on your divine masculine's face, focus instead on him or her being an astral, having an astral body instead of the physical body that they are, that you have come to know. That was a specific thing that came through right now. Um, for divine feminines specifically that are dealing that are on this twin flame journey that are dealing with all of this this is very much a love reading Pisces and it's very much a twin flame reading but it doesn't have to be twin flames this could be soulmates okay this could this could be um, this really could be anything it's still a general reading but there are some specifics that are popping up okay finally for you Pisces we have the nine of wands with the five of Pentacles um, so Pisces, you're feeling, hmm, all right, I'm getting two sides to the coin. I'm getting you, Pisces, well, okay, it may not necessarily be you, it could be you, or it could be this other person that you're dealing with, but, um, I feel like both of you feel like you're out in the cold. Both of you feel some sort of lack, um, and the universe is really bringing forward to you that please, please just, just keep swimming. Excuse me. Just keep going. Persevere. Okay. Um, you just keep on fighting. You've got the strength. You've got the willpower. Um, I, and I'm really picking up that this is not this five of pentacles energy. That's, that's representing whatever lack you're feeling in your life is not old. Like this is a new found sense of this feeling. It's, that's kind of resurged. Um, I'm feeling a lot of it from whoever is represented here by this King of Wands, your Divine Masculine, when talking from Twin Flames, or just this person that you have this really strong, passionate connection with. A lot of it is coming, this of this lack energy is coming from them because uh, you, Pisces, may have been the one to kind of put your foot down and put up a barrier. Um, or or you being the Pisces, you feel this new sense of, of, of lack and being put out in the cold because this other person has really put their foot down <laughs> again. <laughs> um, but it's okay. It's really okay because the universe is asking you to just to press on because this feeling isn't going to last forever. It's really not going to last that long, to be honest. But you are feeling it right now. And that, that does make it hard to, put, to press on. Um, it's illusionary though. It's illusionary. Oh, that's right. And I forgot that death was under the, underneath everything on the deck. So yeah, we have some major, major endings and major transformations coming through right now. And it's fantastic. It's really fantastic. All right, Pisces. There it is. Uh, I hope this was helpful. Um, thank you so much for joining me again. And I will be seeing you guys for the second half of April. Coming up soon, yeah? Much love to you, take care, bye.